when confronted with roofs that are on different angles and different pitches ArchiCAD's got some great tools that helps you make them all join in an accurate fashion as you can see if we click on these roofs this is at 40 degrees this is at 30 degrees and this is at 25 degrees now if I wanted to make all these roofs join first of all if I select the roof plane that I want to join into so I want these roofs to join into this one make sure we're on the roof tool because that's what we're editing if I hold the control key or apple key down and I click on the edge that I want to touch that roof it will shoot that roof out to join I'm going to do it to this one as well so I'm just holding the control key on the PC Apple on the Mac and left mouse click and it shoots those roof planes out now that's part of the job the next step is to make these two roofs join because that join is actually correct at the moment I'll just go to 3D window to show you that we can see that that join is correct I'm just going to close that again now I'm going to select this roof by holding the shift key left mouse clicking on it and then I want this roof plane to touch this roof here so I'm going to hold down the control key again left mouse click and that's the imaginary join line so now I'm going to deselect it by clicking in the white area or away out of the building hold the shift key left mouse click on this roof plane hold the control key again left mouse click on this roof plane now we can see that if I go to 3D that should be a pretty accurate join now the only issue we have is a bit of roof under here I'm going to close that I can actually do the same thing select that there now I need to add a node at this point so I'm just going to wait till that crosshair cursor appears and I'm left mouse click I'm going to add a node left mouse click to, to nail it there and do the same thing here now we've got an extra node to deal with here put that there left mouse click add another node drag that up to there so now when I go to the 3D window we can see that we have a perfect join and the roof is all cleaned up now if I wanted to we've got a bit of an issue here as well so we can see we'd probably want that roof to go all the way through to there so I'm just going to select that roof plane by holding shift and clicking on it then add a node at this point here and then I'm going to usually I have to take this point close to this node over here and that sets up a guideline hold the shift and then take that all the way through to where the cross here shows a cross again and then we have the roof joined up correctly there now these pitching lines they may not be in the correct position either so I'm going to left mouse click and select the roof again then if I move this pitching line for example if I click it over there even though it looks like nothing's happened if I go to the 3D window we'll be able to see that that roof is now on a different plane because when you rotate the pitching line you're actually changing the way the roof sits on that pitching line so now we can see it's it's all skewed so I'm just going to go control Z and undo that so I actually want this pitching line to remain in the same place but I'm gonna, I want it within that roof plane I'm just going to left mouse click on there and I'm going to go close to this node up here hold the shift key come back and I might touch the edge and then do the same from the other side come down this node so it's close to there so that it's constrained and I can drag it all the way up there if I want We're happy with that. I can also I should have actually moved this first. Now this pitching line's going to be a little bit out. So that's how you join a roof with different pitches and different planes. And it still works if I change the angle of this. Now let's just say I change this to 15 degrees. Now now that roof plane's at 15 degrees, but if we go to 3D window, of course, it'll be incorrect. So now I have to go back and do go through the same process. So if I wanted to grab that. I can left mouse click on the other one, deselect it, select that roof, click on that roof plane. Now I just need to adjust this 
so I can take that up to that point there this roof plane now needs to come back up to here but now when we go to the 3d window we can see that we have to draw the main roof still so I'm going to close that once again so if I hold the shift key down select this roof if I hold the control or Apple key wait for the Mercedes cursor left mouse click we can see the roof has come away and same to this roof plane left mouse click now if it doesn't join I've just added a node there sorry if I hold the control key down and click and it's come away sometimes if it doesn't join if I go control Z which I was kind of hoping it wasn't then I can select that roof plane and move that away and then do the same thing select the do the same thing select the original roof plane and then hold the control or apple key wait for the Mercedes cursor left mouse click and it'll join an imaginary spot and then I can actually click on that node there and just bring it in this node is also moved a little bit here so I'm just going to take that up to there click outside it to deselect it and then go to the 3D window and once again we can see we've got the correct join once we get to this stage if we think that the roof pivot lines are annoying and we don't want to see them we can just go to the view on screen view options and then hide the roof pivot lines if I do that they disappear and we've got just a roof